Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. This is Musa. Matt Meacham Jr. Broadcasting on Earth. In our universe, in our uh, world, in our solar system, this is Musa checking in on Earth. I have gone through. I have gone through many, 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 many transitions since the last time I gave a broadcast. I have traveled, and I, and I have talked. And I have done a lot of things. And I'm very grateful to Almighty God that he allows me to wake up in the morning, to walk, to smile, to eat, and to enjoy the world which he, he created for all of us. I... Uh, had made a decision. I, I, I said to myself, I, I had, I had, uh, well, I, I had made a decision. I said, look, I'm not going to do any more broadcasts for a while. And the reason why I said, well, it's, I, what, like, it's so many things that are going on in the world today. And there are so many things that touch me. And I said, how can I get on my computer and talk to people I have never met. Presently, it, you can see that I'm in one, I'm in one of my studios. I, this is my children's studio, E equal MC square. I, I guess you can't read it the way that it's written, but I'm right now I'm, I'm in my studio. Some pl someplace on Earth, getting ready to install my drama school. If you if you, if you have been following me, you you know that I, my concern is establishing a network of artists and media experts. Internationally. Well, I wake up in the morning and I think that the Almighty God, I think, I think that He's not unhappy with me. I think that He may not be thoroughly pleased as to. What, what I do and how I conduct my life. But I think that he's not too angry with me. The reason why I say that because I see that the things that I um, had envisioned in my mind, I see these things coming to light. What do I mean? My corporation. My corporation, if you have been following me, you know that my prime ambition is to establish an international corporation that deals with media, the performing arts, and artists. I uh, look at the, the talks that I had when I was in the U.S. concerning this idea of a corporation and the things that I needed to do, and the things that I needed. So wherever I go on this earth, and wherever I am on this earth, I find that that which I have envisioned, it materializes right before me. What am I saying? Well, you, in order to know what I'm saying, 
you would have to examine my videos that go back when I was talking about Musa Corner Consulting International. My friends, my friends, even with the help of Almighty God, Not one penny, not one penny from any man on this earth. I have already established two outlets in East Africa for my major, for my major corporation. Yes, not one investor. Not one penny from one man. I, with the help of a Almighty God, have established two outlets in Africa that deals with that forward. Concept. So I praise God because I wake up in the morning on his earth in different places on his earth with a dream. Yes, a dream, a concept, an idea, a seed that exists in my mind. And I have not received one single penny from any investor yet. The seed has been planted. So this all this this all goes to show me that it, 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 it uh, well I, I had known it all along. It's all up to what God has planned. That is determined. That is determined. That what happens on this earth, He determines everything. So I I look at my uh, old videos that when I began to talk about and establish my concept, my corporate concept. And I, I, it, when I first initially came out to, to discuss this concept, this, inter, this international concept in marketing, in the media, and in the performing arts, the concept was here. I discussed it with my viewers, if you've been following me since I be opened up my uh, YouTube network, that I, I, I have an idea. And I had invited investors to join me. But I must confess, not one, not one, not one. Though I have been approached, I have been approached, I have been approached by investors who ha have an interest in the concept of international marketing of the media in Africa. Yes, I have been approached. But we think it's not in me. My faith is in God. And I know that whatever is to be done or whatever has to be done or whatever will be done is determined by the Almighty God the ruler 
of this universe. My mission, yes, my mission is a step-by-step -step process. I appeal to human beings like myself. I say, look, we have this program. This program is for all of us who live in this world of turmoil. The world is in, the world is in turmoil. Let's look at the world. Let's look at the world. Israel first committing genocide on the Palestinian people. But just only, what, 79 years ago, the Germans were doing the same to them. Yet, they experienced this holocaust where the Nazis were just wiping out the Jews. And now, this these people, I, 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 no, I would not accept the fact. I would not accept the idea. I would not accept the suggestion that the people who rule Israel are real Jews. What is a real Jew? She would say the Jew was a race. What is a real Jew? What has happened is there's a doctrine that is trying to be perpetuated by a special class of racist, racist type of people. Hitler committed genocide on, the, on, on those people who practice the religion of Judaism in, in Germany. And then we establish a, a we go and take land from the from people in Palestine in Palestine and give to these fake Jews and we wipe out a whole generation of people. That's just one of the problems we got. That's just one of the problems that we got here on the earth. I'm an American. I am an American. It has nothing to do with this or that. Fact is, I am an American. So I think like an American. I have experienced like an American. But I am a black American. But still, I am an American. And the thing about it, I will be an American until God takes me away. Have no, I was born in America. My family is born in America. My great 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 grandfathers were slaves in America. So the fact is, I am what I am. I'm an African American. <laughs> yes. So we get into all these type of complexities. So, U.S. decides to have a war with Ukraine. And I know, no, 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 that's it again. The U.S. decides to unite with Ukraine to fight, to, to fight against the Russians. I know that those same Ukrainians that Biden, that that president that should be in a nursery school, uh, what, what nursery? He should be in a nursery home. That the president of the United States of America, he should be in a nursery home. He should be in you know the hospital. I'm an old man, but the thing is, he should be the president of the United States of America should be in a home for the elderly. He should not be a man who who controls millions of lives. Who has the power to say, push this button and let's destroy this nation? He should not be there. That's just one of the, the ailments that we suffer. But let's get back to Ukraine. When Russia made its assault on the Ukrainians, 
the white Ukrainians would not allow the black African students to get out of harm's way. They listen when they speak to be killed. So we, America, are the, the uh, friends of Ukraine. So we go fight for the Ukrainians. This man who calls himself a Jew in Israel, he's killing, wiping out children. A so called Jew in America supports this man. You have a man running for the president of the United States of America. He has committed every he has committed every crime in the book, including rape. Yet, he is a probable. He is a probable president of the United States of America. And let's go over. Let's go to. Let's go over to Europe. The first, the first prime minister who, who, who admits, I disobey God's law. I am a sodomite. France. These are the rules of the world. So that's what kind of world we at. We at a world where we cannot, in the West, we cannot determine how many different genders there are. Here, in the U.S., men can have babies. This is where we are in this world. This is where we are. And if we study Biblical studies, religious studies, and there was a great flood where God destroyed all mankind, except for the chosen few. We know Noah and his people survived. And then, after God made the decision to destroy the evil, he said, Somewhere there was an echo. I, I don't. Somewhere that there was something that said the fire next time. What is this? What are we talking about? We're talking about nine nine nations on this earth who have the power. Who have the power? Nine nations that exist on this earth where men govern. Nine nations on this earth. In a country, North Korea, as backwards as North Korea is, they have nuclear bombs. In a country like North Korea, that still lives in the Stone Ages, a country like North Korea has nuclear power. Men rule this world. Why am I going? Where am I going? Somewhere in prophecy, it said the fire next time. Why, why did God send? Why did the story, the story of Noah? Why did God destroy the earth? And what did he use? He, he used water. You know why did he? Why did he destroy? Because man was in desperate, desperate sin. Man was doing evil things. Man was doing wrong things. Man was going against God. And he destroyed the earth with water. Then 
He said, no, I will not destroy the earth with water again. I, the almighty God, he said. It will be the fire next time. So look at what's going on in the world today. Look where we at. What is God going to do about all that? How will all of this prevail in God's world? So I just got motivated. Something was in me. And what happened was I got up on my computer and found out no, I could get it was working okay. So I said, well, give a broadcast. So that was my broadcast. I don't know when you'll hear from me again, but whenever I get motivated again, I'll get back in touch with you. This is Musa. Matt Meacham Jr. Signing off on Earth.